Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is all about different engine configuration, specifically speaking about camshaft configuration that is available out there. If you're going to buy a new motorcycle, you might come across these two terms that is SOHC and DOHC engines. So what does this engine mean and which one you should consider buying? Let's see in this video. First up, let's break down what does this acronym stands for. SOHC stands for single overhead camshaft while DOHC stands for dual overhead camshafts. And the key difference between these two types of engines lies in their camshaft configuration. First, let's speak about SOHC engines. In an SOHC engine, there are only one camshaft located in the cylinder head which operates all the valves. This setup is simpler and more compact making it a common choice for small vehicles and budget friendly models. However, it might not offer the same level of performance or efficiency as a DOHC engine. On the other hand, a DOHC engine features two camshafts per cylinder head, one for an intake valve and one for the exhaust valve. This dual cam setup allows more precise control over the valve timing and the lift, resulting in improved performance and efficiency. DOHC engines are often found in high performance motorcycles and cars. Now let's dive a bit deeper into a difference between SOHC and DOHC engines. Speaking of valve control, in an SOHC engine, the single camshaft operates both the intake and the exhaust valve for each cylinder. This can sometimes limit the engine's ability to optimize valve timing and lift for performance. In contrast, DOHC engines have separate camshafts for intake and exhaust valves, allowing for more precise control over each valve's operation. Speaking of performance, Due to their more advanced valve control systems, DOHC engines typically offer better performance compared to an SOHC engine. The ability to independently adjust the timing and lift of an intake and the exhaust valves allows for improved airflow into and out of the combustion chamber, resulting in higher power output and better engine responsiveness. You can clearly see this difference if you have ridden NS200 and Duke 200 back to back. Even though both of them have the same engine, the difference lies in their head configuration, where NS is an SOHC engine and the Duke 200 is a DOHC engine. Now speaking of efficiency, similarly the increased control provided by the DOHC engines can also lead to improved fuel efficiency. By optimizing the valve timing and the lift, DOHC engines can achieve better combustion efficiency, reducing fuel consumption and emissions compared to SOHC engines. Even though DOHC engines are offer superior performance and efficiency, they are generally more complex and expensive to manufacture than an SOHC engine. The dual cam design requires additional components and machining which can drive up the production cost and makes a DOHC engine less accessible in a lower priced vehicle segment. In summary, both SOHC and DOHC engines have their own advantages and applications. SOHC engines offer simplicity and affordability while DOHC engines provide superior performance and efficiency. The choice between these two depends on the factor such as budget, performance requirements and intent to use. So which one is better? Well, it depends on what you are looking for in a motorcycle. SOHC engines are more cost effective and easier to maintain while DOHC engines offer superior performance and efficiency. Ultimately the choice comes down to your priorities and budget. That's it for today's vlog. I hope you found this breakdown of SOHC and DOHC engines helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more such automotive content. Thank you so much for watching Oceonics and I'll see you in the next one.